Hey everyone, welcome back to John's Watch. Today I'm taking a look at a new game called Cyanide and Happiness Freak Apocalypse. This game was released on March 11th, 2021, and it's developed by Explosum and Skeleton Crew Studios and published by Serenity Forge. So I imagine most people are probably familiar with the Cyanide and Happiness um, web comics. Uh, I'm a big fan of them myself, haven't, haven't read them for a while, but I, I bought the app at one point and I, I had read every single uh, comic they'd ever done at one point. <laughs> so this is a point and click adventure game filled with dark humor, drama, and all the weirdness you've grown to love and or dread over the years. <laughs> Very interested in this. Uh, it says it's got controller support, so I'm gonna try with controller. Let's let's have a look. Sir John Snow, it is. Well, that's not. I wouldn't call that full controller support. <laughs> I've got to click that. That is very upbeat music. To be fair to it. All pass to hell. <laughs> yes! Destroy everything educational! Uh, I uh, can't remember uh, what AP Bio uh, means. Soon, everything educational will be destroyed thanks to Dr. Dropout! <laughs> You'll never get away with this, Dr. Dropout. There'll be no brain drains on my watch. <laughs> Your nerd powers won't work on me, Psionic Steve. I removed my brain long ago. I won't be the only brainless moron in this school once I dip everyone in my patented stupid goop. <laughs> Zooks! I gotta save them! But I can't do it when I'm dressed as a mild-mannered everyday coop! This looks like a job for... Super Coop! Wow, he got out of that really quickly. My favorite protege! You are here to save us all! Per usual? Ha ha! I am speaking to you using my telepathic powers! Psionic Steve! My very close personal friend! I can hear you using my telepathic powers! Listen, Coop, you must stop Dr. Dropout's many droogs from destroying education. But first, you need to use your super walking powers to reach them. I will walk you through the steps of this walking walkthrough with you. Walk this way. Slightly to the left. Hurry, Super Coop! Oh, this is going to be a, a tricky... Oh, I can move that with my right stick. Yeah, I wouldn't call this full controller support. This, this feels like partial controller support. Um, this is going to be a hard tutorial. Players are reluctant to hear a coop. Help them navigate all sorts of terrible situations by pointing and clicking on everything you see. Well, I mean, I don't need a controller for this. <laughs> it did say it's point and click, so I guess we'll do that. I just want to point out that this is the game's tutorial. Like, it's, it's nicely stylized, but it's literally telling every single, like, part of the game here. Look at it, <laughs> that's it! <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's not a very engaging tutorial. Okay, we're in. Chore required. Defeat Dr. Dropout. I think, yeah, we can just click to move. Tiny hero, you have used your legs. Now you must use your mind. Your powers are impressive, but you must learn to harness them to walk the correct way. Focus, Super Coop. The fate of the school and all your prom dates depend on it. A hero does not walk away from Dr. Dropout. Sorry, I, I, you know, I forgot all about it because I just had to read an essay of how to play this game. You're doing great. Okay, thanks. Okay, we go this way. Do I have anything in my backpack? No. <laughs> That's a pretty cool little scroll wheel. Uh, and this probably just tells me what to do. Chores. Defeat Dr. Dropout. Do I have any costumes? No. Random. Okay, let's go. By God, you did it! Dr. Dropout will be done for before the day is done! All in a day's work. This will be a walk in the park. <laughs> Rightly so, my clever comedic companion. Now, onward to the gymnasium. Okay, I'm, I'm going. Oh, no. <laughs> Not so fast, Super Coop. One of Dr. Dropout's deadly droogs delays your destiny. If only there was a way to disable and dispose of that dastardly dum-dum. 
Direct your attention in his direction. He's just kicking the shit out of that poor guy. Hey, what up? Sight, psionic Steve. Please call me Steve on account of how close we are as friends. <laughs> Sea <Z> dog. <laughs> Egad, he's beating the education out of that fellow student. If only there was a way to stop him. Perhaps a precarious punishment is perched in proximity to that. <laughs> <laughs> that Very well written. Convenient. Please peruse. Perceptively peruse. Um, I'm perusing. I see nothing. Am I just supposed to walk over here? I'm supposed to click on something I can use, I guess. Oh, there. Whoa. Hooray! Hooray! Big ups to you, bud. But wait! Look to the left! What am I looking at? This guy? Look. Lucky for me, that locker was filled with peanuts. Unlucky for him, he had a <laughs> reaction to them. That's very handy. I don't need guns when I have powers of the mind. Oh, fair enough. Ha <laughs> ha! That's what you get when you try to stop the runaway train of justice. Feels like one dead droog to me. He was allergic to peanuts and life. Don't worry, citizen. Those head injuries are nothing a little studying can't fix. <laughs> okay, Coop. Uh, can we take some peanuts? No time for a snack. There's crime to f Fine. Off we go. Oh, no. Those smarty brains getting in here, or they'll get their smart brains blown out. Yeah, dumb people only. Yeah, especially me, because I'm dumb. <laughs> yeah, but I'm stupider. That's why the boss likes me best. Oh, day, that's fair. Oh, day. I love the horses at the fair. Oh, yeah, and the cotton candies. <laughs> There stands a deadly duo whose arms are armed with deadly bullet dispensing danger. If only there was a way to disarm the armaments from their arms. Quickly, think. Time is of the essence. Can I make their guns go off? I just remembered your super lit backpack. All the guys covet. And all the girls love it. I think it is neat how you keep all the items you collect in it. Like an inventory of sorts. So organized. So cool. Hey, thanks, Steve. It's my favorite. I wonder how you could possibly trap those terrible transgressors. Say, what do you keep in such a super cool backpack anyway? I have always wondered. Nothing is empty right now. I've got the stuff in here now. What is this? Smart thinking, but no. It's an ancient Chinese apparatus used for trapping asinine assailants. No superhero's utility belt is complete without one. So do I just use it on them? Wondrous work, Super Coop. You confounded those criminals with a culturally appropriate confusion contraption. <laughs> culturally appropriate. Confusion. Congrats! Now, to successfully open the gymnasium door and walk through it. You are so close. Hooray. On it. I was just checking the settings to see if you could, like, increase the dialogue speed or anything, but no, it's... This is, this is the settings. Very bare-bones settings. It's unfortunate. Like, you can, you can click to advance them, but then that stops their mouth moving, and that's kind of sad. Go, Coop. Super Coop! We're saved! Soup Scoop. Well, 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 if it isn't Super Coop, which I'm pretty sure it is, isn't it? You bet your brainless belfry, Dr. Dropout. Well, you'll lose that bet because I don't even know what a belfry is, and soon neither will you. Once I've destroyed every book, every brain, and every school, you will be just another drooling dummy on this big flat earth, just like me. The only thing flat on this earth will be your face once I'm done with you! Better get a move on. Your friends will be stupefied by then. Allow me to demonstrate. Coop! Help me, man! Sorry for all the bullying, but you gotta you gotta help me out! <laughs> My favorite color is applesauce. 
Same. Oh no! This is just the beginning! But enough talk! How about you? <laughs> fools! Get him! Get him! Now's your chance, Super Coop! You can do it, Coop. <laughs> Eat shit, Super Coop! You're too late! <clears throat> Cannot break free! We will be doomed to dumbness in no time! Quickly, Coop! Drop some knowledge on Dr. Dropout! Knowledge is power! The less I know, the more powerful I become! Soon I'll be the most stupidest, most powerful being in the universe! Okay, what are we gonna do here? Probably loads of stuff we can interact with. Look at it all. One touch of that and I'll be as dumb as Dr. Dropout's Legion. I'll keep it to zero touches for the time being. Oh, well, it's like a scroll up here. That's probably useful. Brilliant! You were not gobsmacked by his gobbly gook. Now get this goofy goon to graduation. Enjoy your student debt, Dr. Dropout. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, we did it. What's this? Congratulations, Dr. Dropout. You're now a high school graduate. And you're the valedictorian. Way to go! What? Now that's sticking it to him. No! This can't be possible! I don't want to be smart! A transformation of this magnitude to my cerebellum is only possible through- Oh my god! Wow, boss should look smart. But boss said we're supposed to destroy everything smart! Yeah, you're right. Let's get him! No! No, you dullards! Get them, not me! Cease your incessant locomotion! Stop! You saved us, Super Coop! Will you go to prom with me? You saved us all, Super Coop! Way to put your mind to it! Now you are my hero! Cooper? Is that you? Mom? Dad? I, I thought you were dead! Yes, <laughs> we are dead! And we're so proud of you! That's a nice daydream. Coop! Cooper! Mr. McCarthy! Huh? What? Y yes, Mr. Murphy. Were you paying attention? Uh... What did I just say? Um, something about obtuse angles? Uh, right? Wrong! Everyone, point and laugh! <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 look what we have here. Uh, wait, give that back. What was that? Couldn't hear you, Cooper. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Do us a favor and try not to waste all of our time. You suck, Coop. Let's shove him into a locker, and then shove that locker up his ass! Now, now, nobody chastise Coop until I've had a chance to chastise him first. What I was saying, if you're so <laughs> kind as to join us, is the word of the day is exposition. As you all know, graduation is just <laughs> important, so today you'll all be filling uh, out your career aptitude test. There's a lot of very These clever stuff in this. determine what careers you might excel at, if any. I did this test when I was in school, and look where it got me. School. Ginger, true or false, fill in the dots, yada yada. Just fill these out so we can all go home. Think you can handle that coop? Or is the fate of your future too boring? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> Solid burn, Jet. Uh, Mr. Murphy? Will this affect any of our college applications? Maybe, maybe not. If you just fill it out honestly, you really won't have to worry about it. Now, will you, Sawyer? Uh, come on. I already filled this out last year. I don't really have to do it again, do I? Yes, Kent, you do need to fill this out again. You think just because you were held back a grade that you get special privileges? Well, yeah. Hmm, you're right. You don't need to waste your time filling this out again. Just sit there and be handsome. And take off that crown. <laughs> Thank you. All right, class. You know the drill. No talking, no cheating, no questions. Heads down. Just fill out the damn form and hand it in when you're done. Jesus Christ, Summer can't get here fast enough. <laughs> oh, no. Career aptitude test. Do you think we got to fill it out? 
You still have parents. False. I can't change any of these. Pills are for muffling cries. False. Oh, I can't- I can't do any of them. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Yes. I do enjoy meta humor. <sighs> half- like, half of this is very funny. And then half of it's, like, a little bit too, like, juvenile. Even for me. I like, like, fairly juvenile humor, I guess. But, like, um... I don't know. Just, like, half the stuff so far has been, like... Feels like it's directed to quite a young audience, like 14 year olds or something. Uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see, we'll play a little bit more. Hmm, is Koop a total penis sexual? I'm gonna mark this one as true. <laughs> yeah, wait, which one was that again? Hmm, Koop will make it to graduation alive? That's a false right there. <laughs> uh, eat a dick, Kent. I'll eat your dick, you gold smudger! <laughs> What have I told you about standing up for yourself, Poop Coop? That you'll color my eyeballs in with markers? Uh, again? That's right, Taint Tickler. Don't think for a second that you're safe just because school is almost over. Yeah, let's hold him down and tickle his taint for being so... <laughs> what the fuck, chat? Stop this ruckus! I said heads down! We're trying to concentrate on our aptitude test and Coop won't stop hitting on us. Yeah, Coop, I told you. I'm not emotionally available to get into a physical relationship right now. Quit pressuring me, nut stump. No means no, Coop. Now quit being a creepy sex pest and <laughs> your task. But Poor Coop. And I totally saw Coop trying to copy off Chet's test, too. What? But he's the one cheating. For the last time, Coop, I don't care if Kent is cheating on you. He's a beautiful free bird that no one can chain down. Just look into those deep, gorgeous eyes of his. Now get your test done, or else! Final warning! What a queefing, cheating, cheater queef. I'm gonna use the five-point palm exploding heart technique on your tiny balls if you don't stop copying off me! That is it, Mr. Cooper! Since you can't seem to let these precious students focus on their task without cheating or pressuring them into premarital intercourse, get your lecherous behind to the principal's office now! But... Right now! Mister! Ha uh, <laughs> ha! Sayonara, dipshit dick turd! <laughs> See, like, half of that was funny and half of it was just not. Uh, what do we have to do? Uh, chores. Oh, I got a trophy. Hooray! <laughs> Impermanent record, go to the school's office. Uh, principal's office. Hint. Permanent record is on Principal Minnelli's desk. Ah. That's kind of cool that you can turn that off. Uh, go to the principal also. The fifth. Okay. Exposition. What do I, a senior at Nitz <laughs> There you go. Know about exposition. Good exposing. Let's go. Coop's Uda here. We're off to uh, principal's office. To, head to the principal's office. Down the hallway to the red door of doom. Well, it could be either, but there's also his locker here. Trying to look at Buck. That's where I keep all my stuff, and where people often stuff me. Is there anything in there? Damn it! It's jammed shut from all the times I was smashed into it by bullies. I could pop it open if I had a pencil. I had a pencil? Do you have a pencil? Got nothing, Coop. Let's ring this. <laughs> there, I pulled it. Nothing happened. That can't be up to code. <laughs> oh no. Okay, let's assume it's this way. There it is. Back to the offices? Maybe? Principal. Normally I would like click on more things if I was playing this, but I'd like to see a little bit more. Um, let's just talk here. I'm here for my four o'clock. Is that you, Principal McNally? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm a student. Oh, all right. You're not very receptive, are you, receptionist? You'll have to speak up, dear. I'm wearing my backup glasses. <laughs> okay, let's go on in. Gotta keep an eye out for pencil. Come on in, Coop. Have a seat. We both know why you're here. Wait, why are you here? I'm in trouble. You're darn right you're in trouble. I heard you were cheating on a test while sexually pressuring other students, <laughs> including our beloved Kent. That's not true. Kent set me up. Oh, sure, I've heard it all before. Hmm, let's see. Oh, there's so many things wrong with you. Where to begin? 
It's lecture time, Coop. Do you want to hear the long version or the short version? That seems like a trick question. Let's say the long version. Uh, the long version, I guess? Tell me, Coop, what are your goals? How do you plan to score them? What would make you win the big game called life? Uh, I guess I've always wanted to help people. Help people with their troubles and problems. You know, kind of like a superhero. Like Psionic Steve. And how's that working out for you? Uh, well, most people I try to help really wish I didn't. Doesn't sound like any superhero I've heard of. What kind of hero cheats on tests? What kind of champion gets his head shoved into a urinal every day? <laughs> prom date? Pathetic! Even I have a prom date, and I'm not even allowed to. You know, oh. anyone who's anyone has a prom date. People keep saying that. Keep it up, and it's no hashtag epic field trip to the local bomb shelter for Coop. And no <laughs> prom. You'll be warming the bench, hitting the showers. Three strikes means you struck out. Game over, Coop. Game over! You'll leave high school forever remembered as the guy who didn't score a touchdown, the weirdo who didn't have a prom date, the freak that didn't help anyone. Is that the kind of superhero you want to be? A super freak? No, sir. It's just hard to focus on my goals, or scoring goals, when I'm tormented by bullies every day. It's hard to focus when my teacher shoots spit wads into my mouth whenever I yawn, or when Kent posts my internet search history on billboards all over town. Life is going to test you, Coop. You have to keep your eye on the ball. We're all balls in the same bag, Coop. You have to be a team player, like a sports team. Keep your eye on the ball and the other eye on the prize. Help the team cross the finish line and score a touchdown. You could pass or you could go for that three-pointer, but that wouldn't make you a team player. And if you don't pass, you fail. Not to put you down, but are you picking up what I'm putting down? <laughs> I'm really not great with the uh, sports examples. It's a simile, Coop, like a metaphor with more likes. I want you to like your life. I want you to like, share, and subscribe to your own future. Are we on the and this page? channel? Speaking of pages, right, right, Prince Will McNally. To your permanent record. That's what I need to get. That's where it is. Dear God, this is worse than I thought. This permanent record here. This is a loser's permanent record. Losers stay losers permanently. Only a loser would have this many strikes on this record. And losers don't get to go on the hashtag epic field trip to the local bomb shelter. Here I go, clicking my pen, the pen I'm using to mark this down on your permanent record to make you a permanent loser, permanently, with permanent ink. Please don't! It, it won't happen again! I, I'm sorry I've been acting up lately. I guess I have been feeling pretty directionless. I don't really have much of a positive role model in my life. I mean, there's Psionic Steve, but he's, a uh, he's not exactly real. I really could use someone real to talk to, you know? I, I guess I... What's this? A distracting phone call? Hello? Don't you know I'm in the middle of leaving a red mark on a kid's future? Permanently? What's that? <gasps> Stacy broke her pelvis during the splits! That means there's an opening on the cheer squad! My time to shine! Oh no. <laughs> Go Narwhals! Totally gonna leave the le the record. Later, I have to go do something that's far more important than fixing your life. Now sit here and think of every word I've said, and don't look at, touch, or talk to a single thing. I see a few things I can interact with. They've got like thinner lines than a lot of the the rest of it. Spice Girls rule, nice. Being a little bitch. <laughs> uh. Okay, we'll, we'll see what we can do about this permanent record. Yikes! I better find some way to alter my permanent record before Principal McNally sees it, or he'll never let me go on that field trip. So you can see, like, the the lines around it. Well, you might you might be able to see it. The lines around it, things you can interact with, are very, like, thin and sharp. Whereas, like, the, the lines around other things are a little bit blurrier and thicker. So we can grab this, probably. Wait out. Hell yeah. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we can grab here. But we can definitely do something with this now. Unless we can go in here. I'll look at other students' permanent records later. Right now I gotta deal with my own. That's not a book we can grab, is it? I lick my fingers and flip through the pages of both books. I gain ten boredom points. Whatever, Coop. Uh, okay, let's... We do this, I guess? Can I then grab this? Nope. 
Oh, may I do this, and this, and that? Tries to help everyone. Aquatic life. Perfect. Recipient said, thanks. Fixed. Like a ninja. Okay, now I better go fetch the permission slip for the hashtag epic field trip to the bomb shelter from my locker. If I can get it signed, I can go on the trip, get closer to Sawyer, and finally be safe from bullies. And bombs. Sounds perfect. Uh, so we got some achievements. Let's have a look there. Drawers. Oh, here's the trophies. We did it. Ultra your permanent record. Sweet. I don't know if these are Steam achievements. I have earned zero achievements, apparently. Maybe they'll pop after I close the game. Uh, look at your locker. I know where that is. Um, okay, well, I've been playing this for like half an hour. I'm gonna leave it there. It's 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 pretty good actually. Um, I thought the the intro was like a little bit rough. It was a little bit, like I said, like not that funny. Like it was a bit too juvenile humor y, and it still is. But like now that I'm kind of walking around and doing my own thing, it's a little bit a little bit funnier. It's a little bit uh, I don't know, like more interesting to me, I guess. I'm just surprised because I remember like the comics being like pretty like edgy, especially like some of the the, the earlier ones. Um, but you know, I probably haven't read them for like six years or something now. I should re-download the app and go through all of them. So maybe this is just like more their humor style. Like they, they presumably did not want to be edgy for like 15 years. Anyway, yeah, this is uh, it's pretty promising to be honest. It, it's kind of fun. Kind of reminds me a bit of like uh, the South Park games, I guess, like similar similar sort of humor and, and and walking around in a school, I guess. There you go, that was Cyanide and Happiness Freak Apocalypse. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!